Hey, Go hey. Ahead. First of all, we're going to get this, this press started. This is on me. This is on me. Not my players, not my assistant coaches. I got to do a better job. And I will. I got to do a better job. I thought they played, I thought they fought to the end. I like to thank the fans. The fans, they hung in there with us and we fed off the energy, but we didn't do enough. They beat us in all three phases of the game offense, defense, and special teams. But this comes back to me. It's not my kids' fault, not my assistant coach's fault. This is on me. I got to accept responsibility for it, and I have. And we're going to get better next week. We got eight games left. And we're going to get ready to win, win some games. I guess I didn't do enough last week to get them ready. I got, I got to get back and we got to do some individual work, some more, more drill work next, next week, less teamwork, and get some fundamentals straightened up. You know, we got to continue to tackle. I didn't do enough tackling. I got to do more. I got to get them better in that part. You, you talked about the gap integrity on defense. Any better today or, or kind of the same? You watched the game. You seen it? No, it wasn't there. It wasn't there. But that's not on him. That's on me. How much could you get done, though, in six days? A lot. A lot. How about the bye week? The bye week is going to help because we can reevaluate re some players. We, get, we had some young kids, um, had some snaps, and had some good snaps, I thought. So we would look at some young players and see if they can help us. If they can help us, we increase their reps. Yes. It surprised me. But I, I wanted them to continue to fight, and they did. But it fell off. But you know what? Like I said again, this is on me. This, this, I got to fix this problem. What, what did Oklahoma do defensively that, that was effective? Had you, seen, did, had you seen all of those things on film? And, and what maybe did you guys not do? Well, they show more odd. They show more odd. And um, more blitzing um, the safety in the A and the B gap. And we prepared for it. We just didn't execute it. We just didn't execute it. Yes, Teddy's going to red shirt. Teddy's done for the year. He's he's going to red shirt. You have to talk to Mark about that. I'll get Mark on it. Speaking on the situation of your offensive line, I mean, how how does this group? How, how can you get this group better? They gave up four sacks today, nine tackles for loss. I mean, what have you seen up front, mm -hmm. and how can this group get any better? We we got to work more fundamentals with him this week. We got to find um, a five, a good five com combination of five of them, and see. High works, you know, but we got to look at, like I said, we got to look at some young kids. We got to look at some backups and see if they can help us. Mickey, what did you see today between the two teams as far as the skill level, the talent level? Where, where do you feel you guys are at in comparison to Oklahoma? I think we got to do a better job in recruiting. They, they, they have better, they have better skill players. You know, we got to do a better job, but we have really good skill players also. We just got to get them to execute. How do you think Casey played? Well, I have to go back and look at the film, but um, nobody played very good with a score like that. So I would say that he didn't play very well. Did he leave because he was hurt or because? No, we needed to get Chubba some reps. What'd you think? How'd you think Chubba did? I thought Chubba played played okay when he got in there. He made some mistakes, but I thought he was aggressive and he gave us a chance to um, to, to sustain drives. Mickey, does this redefine the, the depth or maybe the process of the task ahead just based on today? No, we, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna go back and look at this film, and we're gonna, we're gonna dissect this film, and we're gonna find the kids that that was doing what we was asking them to do, and the kids that can that can tackle and that can block and do do the th do the right things, and we're gonna increase their reps if it w if they wasn't a starter. How well, tough how tough is the assignment of just keeping guys mentally up at this point after a tough start to the season? Well, what's your read on where your team's at? I think they're gonna be okay. I think they're gonna be okay because they don't, they don't have to they don't have to. Hold on to this, this, this loss. This is on me, and I told him that. I told him that it's my job to get them better, and we got to, we will get them better. What can you do, and what will you do over the bye week? I mean, how can you more drill work, more drill, more drill work, more bump combo, more nine on seven, more turnover drills, more drill work, more drill work, less teamwork. Because the team's not going, the teamwork don't matter if the individual work is no good. Felt good until until um till the game started. <laughs> the first drive on offense went according to plan though. Started fast. 
We got to be more consistent, though. I got to get them to be more consistent. How do you work on that from the opening drive to follow? Well, like I said, we get, we got to we got to look at some more players. We got to look at the roster and see who can help us. And we got to work on we got to work some fundamentals. We got to clean up some fundamentals. Do you consider any changes above the player level? No, no, I can't see that right now. I don't know if I'll be able to see that tomorrow, but I can't see that right now. You had mentioned earlier this week that gap integrity is the biggest issue with the run defense. After today's game, like, do you feel the same way, or are there, are there other aspects of the run defense that will be hard to change or have to change? No, we got to be in our gap, and we got to tackle. It's simple. You got to be in your gap, and you got to tackle. And it wasn't there today. You mentioned giving them confidence, injecting that into them. It just it only the momentum that you had only lasted a couple of series. Mm -hmm. But did you see that as a result of what you worked on them? with them on during the week leading up to this? Yeah, they, start? they started out fast. Now I got to get them to be consistent with it and come back and do it again. Take one more. Coach, mm -hmm. how different was this for you? I mean, going through games, you making the decisions and all that. Uh, how was game being different? Oh, it's different. You know, it's different from being a receiver coach to running the whole show. You know, and I, like I said, this is on me and I got to get better as a head coach. Right. Thanks, coach. Thank you.